Okay, so, um, Beef Fizz. Excited for this one. Uh, yeah, I have to modify the recipe a bit because I, there is no condensed beef broth to be had for love or money. So I'm going with the next best thing, condensed French onion, which is mostly beef broth and onions. I'm going to strain the onions out because it just doesn't sound as good. Chunky beef fizz. So put that in the strainer. Two cans because I was only going to use one can of the condensed beef broth, but once I just strain the onions out and stuff, Oh goodness, don't spill. He'll only bet up with one of one can. I'm only making half a recipe. Um, if you'll recall, the recipe calls for two cans of condensed beef broth. Um, these cans are, I believe, 10 ounces. They always used to be. 10 and a half ounces, I was close. Uh, so 10 and a half ounces. Um, oh man. I might save this onion because that looks really good. Doesn't sound very good. You hear that? Mm, kind of gross. Okay, so that's the equivalent of, so that should be 10 ounces. That's actually quite a bit more than 10 ounces. It looks like almost a cup and a half. So, cool. Let me set this aside. Where am I set this? Right here. Set this right there. Out of the way. There's a really good reason why you can't see the calendars right now. Um, so you can see that's actually very thick. And that's a uh, cup and a half, give or take. So 10 ounces is a little over, a little over a cup. Eh, cup and a half. I'm gonna pour back just a little bit of this. Down to well, about a cup and a quarter. Ten ounces is actually a cup and a quarter. Do that. Close enough. Cup and a little over a quarter, and then half a cup of ginger ale. I like Canada Dry. Um, I don't know why I say Canada Dry instead of Canada Dry. It's always Canada Dry. Oh. Sure, it has nothing to do with nothing. All right, so half a cup of that. So to take this up to. One and three quarters cups. Oh, that did some fun stuff to the surface of this beverage. And then again, half recipe, so instead of two tablespoons of lemon juice, I'm only going to use one. Nice and fresh. Because here in Tommy's kitchen, we don't have time. For that kind of nonsense. Surely I have a tablespoon here somewhere. No? Oh, look, here's a half a tablespoon. And I'll go. Pick that up in a minute. One, two, two halves of a tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh no, where'd it go? There it is. Hi, Jax. Did you want to try this too? Jax is a good to try this too. Um, there we go. All the ingredients are there. I'm going to take my fancy cocktail spoon I have just over here in this drawer. Give this a nice little, let me have a look at this. Huh? Huh? Beef fizz, right there. There's almost no fizz. But, uh, I think their uh, proportions are off, but okay. So that's beef broth and ginger ale, a little bit of ginger ale. I'm gonna pour it into a glass with ice. Oh, look how thick that is. Okay, I'm not gonna pour any more than that. Uh, beef fizz. Okay, so if you like the flavor of beef cold, you'll like this. Um, it's actually not bad. I wouldn't want to drink this a lot, but it's got that same kind of the 
the same kind of feel that a say a Bloody Mary or the like has, or it's a, a really cold drink, but it's also very savory. Yeah, I've certainly had worse things. Um, it doesn't sound good. There's almost no, I was gonna say there's almost no ginger ale flavor there, but uh, the ginger, ginger is, I'm, I'm tasting the ginger. It's got a, I don't know. Uh, Kind of an almost teriyaki kind of thing going on. My really only problem with this is that it's cold. Um, and that's not a huge problem. Yeah, make you a beef fizz sometime. And then, you know, probably don't ever make it again, but um, it's not that bad.